gentlemen, and uh, my name is Anna Vizikova. <laughs> understand that these tips are um, very quick it's just basically the low points that uh, we pay attention to um, the second one we were talk wanted to talk about I was I wanted to talk about is the balance and this one is probably the trickiest part and um, as any professional dancer would tell you that um, our job is a dancer that we find our balance and our posture every time every day we come to the studio like new Basically, it's like a child learning how to walk every day. So we have to find our balance and where my balance because one day can feel a little bit more heavy, the other day I feel a little bit more lifted, one day I'm a little bit more enthusiastic about dancing and the other day I just don't want to be there. <laughs> I still bring my shoes, I change and happily after a couple of hours I'm going to be a different person <laughs> if I found that balance and everything is good. So posture is very important, lower part of the center is very important. Another thing that is very important I would say is the fist. Because lots of people, um, they first of all, ladies make sure that your shoes are fitting you perfectly. Because it's surprising how many people dance in their own size of the shoes. And it's an uh, obvious thing, but uh, trust me, with my uh, dance experience, with the teaching experience, I find this problem very common. Sometimes the shoes are too narrow, or sometimes they're too short, so the fingers, <laughs> the toes are sticking out of the shoes, and ladies think it's okay, because when they actually pull the fingers a little bit in, then they feel that it's fine, it looks fine. But actually when you dance, you want to stand as um, flat with your toes as possible in terms that all of these uh, ankles and everything is completely um, relaxed and standing on the floor. And my shoes, if you look at my uh, shoes now, I'm not trying to keep my balance by squeezing my toes out, which is actually a very common problem for both ladies and gentlemen, and even with professional dancers quite often. So uh, that's very important also for uh, pro-am teachers uh, to, to pay attention that their students don't do this because you would not even notice that they're trying to clinch to the floor and that's why they never have the balance. <laughs> so it's bad clinching to your partner, it's bad clinching to your floor. <laughs> so what we're trying to do, we're trying to stand on the floor with all five fingers on the floor. The other thing I would like to point out that whenever I bring my shoe, I brush uh, sorry, my, my foot, I brush the floor, I always touch the floor ever so gently and I lift my ankle high but I actually never brush the floor this way. This is another very common mistake because people think they show better ankle or better footwork this way. In fact, this is um, not only technically incorrect but the reason why it isn't correct, it's actually quite dangerous because if I'm standing like this and this moment something happens, somebody push me something, I'm actually gonna trip over my own foot. And if I have my ball of the foot on the floor, it's very easy for me to actually put a tiny bit of weight in there and now I'm safe. But this is not how I keep my balance. Ideally, I keep my balance by using all the muscles of the leg, front, inside, back, and actually, trying to, uh, when doing a rotation of the hips, I'm trying thinking of not rotating my thighs. That's another thing because lots of people do that. What happens? My balance coming on the outer edge of the foot and then I'm losing balance again because there is not enough muscle that can support me uh, in my ankle. So what I'm trying to do, I'm using my calf muscles to support my ankles and I'm using all five toes on the floor. Uh, whenever I move my leg, I try to uh, start landing through the ball of the foot in a very soft, nice way. So the footwork, ladies, is absolutely crucial in how you move, how well you balance, how well you stay. And remember when turning the hips, not turn the thighs. So you actually don't <laughs> come out of your balance. So if I'm rotating my hip, but I'm trying to keep my thigh, I would be much more grounded. 